People don't know much about a lot of things. I certainly don't know a lot about a lot of things. I know a lot about a few things, but anything outside of this scope, I don't really know much about. And so whenever I hear someone talk about a topic that I don't know much about, I automatically assume that they're right and that they know a lot and they have a lot to offer. And I can learn a lot from that person if I keep listening to them. Because again, I don't know much in this topic and they're the only source I, of information I have, so I listen to them. The reason I'm telling you this is because it is so easy to think that you don't know enough about a certain topic to start teaching people. Because you see these experts out there, you see these gurus out there, and you yourself, you're not certified, so, and you don't have millions of followers, so why would anyone listen to you? And why, why do you deserve to make videos and share your information out there? Like, you're, you're not good enough. That's the, often the story that we play in our heads, right? But the truth is, most people don't know shit about a lot of topics. Like, the most basic, the most basic piece of information when it comes to eating a fruit diet is to eat ripe fruit. You eat unripe fruit, you're gonna be like, oh, that's gross, I can't, I, I can't eat that. But most people eat unripe fruit. That's why when people see me eat a meal of bananas, like I just finished seven bananas right now. I'll show you. I just finished seven bananas right now. Most people would be like, how'd you do seven bananas? I'll tell you how I do seven bananas. I did seven bananas because they're freaking ripe, bro. They're actually ripe. Most people eat them like this. They eat them like that. That's not ripe. That's not a ripe banana. You need to be much riper. It needs to be like this or even a little bit more, right? So that is the most basic piece of information out there when it comes to eating a fruit diet or how to succeed on eating a fruit diet. So the reason I'm telling you this is because even something as simple as eating ripe fruit is a novel concept to a lot of people. I remember I was at the beach one day with my friend and he, he had two kiwis or he had a bunch of kiwis with him. And I was like, bro, don't eat that, that's not ripe. And he's like, yeah, it's good enough. And I'm like, dude, it's not ripe. And he's like, you trust me, it's good enough. And again, I knew, cause I'm the fruitarian and this guy didn't know. But he takes the kiwi, cuts it in half, it's like a hard kiwi. And he's like battling to cut it in half and he finally cuts it in half and he goes to scoop it and he's like, yeah, you're right, it is unripe. I'm like, most obvious thing in the world, it's not ripe to me. But I, I say this because it's very easy to get up, caught up in our head and be like, oh, we don't know enough, we're not good enough, therefore we shouldn't make content. But the truth is, pick if you pick the thing to talk about that you know a lot about, that you know, nine, that you know more about than 99% of the people in Walmart, heck, if you pick a topic where you know more than 80% of the people in Walmart, if you pick a topic where you know more than the, where you know more about it than 50% of the people in Walmart. You can start a very successful YouTube channel. You can start a very successful Instagram channel. You can start a very successful media company, an education company, a transformation company online, helping people with that information. Like another very obvious piece of advice that, or another piece of obvious information that I have that most people are absolutely clueless about is when it comes to making money online. Like, for example, I've been making money online now for many years. So I've, I don't know how many years, let's just say five, six years, okay? And I've done over $3 million in sales with education and I like coaching and eBooks courses, that sort of thing. And to me, it is incredibly obvious. In fact, I've known this since I was like a five-year-old. It's incredibly obvious to me that you should sell something that's already selling. You should sell something that other people are already buying and not trying to create something brand new that's never been sold before, that's never been bought before. To me, this is the most obvious thing in the world. And yet every single day, I speak with people who wanna start their online business, they wanna start their online coaching company and they wanna offer something that nobody's buying and that nobody's selling. And they think that like this way they'll be unique and this will be their, uh, this will be their way to like niche down and, 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 have, a, and ha have an edge and stand out. But again, it's the dumbest thing in the world. Like you, like you don't wanna sell, at least to me it's the dumbest thing in the world. You wanna just sell what's already selling, sell people things that they're already buying, right? 
So I make content that teaches entrepreneurs how to succeed online, teaching contentpreneurs how to succeed online with their own courses, coaching programs, and memberships. And I make a tremendous amount of money doing that, hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. Last month was $128,000. And I'm just sharing obvious things, like things to me that are super obvious, that might be counterintuitive to other people. And I used to teach the fruit diet to people. I taught people how to eat a fruit-based diet. Like another super obvious piece of advice that I teach people that made me a lot of money because nobody thought of this because they're not eating a fruit diet is something as simple as food combining. Like to me, it's super obvious that you don't want to eat an avocado and then a minute later eat a watermelon. Or you don't want to eat uh, a bunch of bananas, like I just ate a bunch of bananas, and then on top of that, eat a bunch of oranges. Like that is called improper food combining. And that's like what I learned on day one of eating the fruit diet. But there was a time, of course, where I didn't know that. So I, I did learn it, but I was like, I learned that on day one. There are people who still don't know that. And they've been trying to eat a raw vegan, healthy vegan diet for a while. And the food combining is absolutely atrocious. And as a result, they have shitty digestion and they're bloating, they're gassy. And they're like, oh, the fruit diet doesn't work. And I look at what they eat and how they eat it. I look at the state in which the fruit is in, it's unripe. Then I look at the combinations which they're eating, it's improperly combined. It's like, no wonder you're failing on this diet. You're just doing it wrong. You know, two of the most fundamental pieces, the food combining and the ripeness factor. You know, and not to mention, not to get into like even the amounts that they're eating. These people eat a very, very small amounts of, of calories from fruit because it's so unripe and because it's improperly combined, they don't feel good. So then of course their calories are low and then they get hungry and then they're like, oh, I could never do a fruit diet because I get too hungry. But yeah, because dude, you have like a 600 calorie day right now. You got 600 calories and it's 6 p.m. No wonder you're failing. Like I hit 2,500 2, calories um, well before 4 p.m. So again, it's, I'm making this video to remind you all that you can share information that to you is super obvious and to you is like a no brainer. And to other people, they're gonna be like, wow, that was super helpful, thank you. So don't be afraid to share what you know. If it's helpful to other people, if it's helpful to more than 50% of the people in Walmart, share it. Make that be your litmus test. You walk into the next Walmart, look around, be like, could over half the people here benefit from what I'm about to say? If yes, make a video about that and share it. All right, peace, ciao for now. If you want all my courses completely for free, check link in description or link below and uh, I'll send them all to you completely for free so that you can make really good money online as a content printer with your own course, coaching program, or membership. All right, peace, ciao, adios.